In this Demon's Souls guide, we'll give you an overview of the upgrade system of Demon's Souls that can be daunting for new players, but hides away a rewarding arsenal of unique weapons. Just like any other Souls game, Demon's Souls features an upgrade mechanic where you can choose certain upgrade paths to further strengthen and change the effects of your weapon. But before we start on how the upgrade mechanic works in the game, let's start off with the basics. So how do you upgrade weapons? Weapons can be upgraded at either one of the game's blacksmiths, and only if you have the necessary materials. Blacksmith Boldwin can be found in the Nexus next to Stockpile Thomas. He is a beginner blacksmith NPC who provides low-level upgrades. Blacksmith Ed, on the other hand, can be found in Stonefang Tunnel, smithing grounds in the remake, and he provides advanced upgrades for your weapons. Note that you cannot upgrade armor in Demon Souls. Something else to note is that when you're upgrading weapons, you are not required to have the materials or stones in your inventory when you speak to Boldwin or Ed, so you can keep those stones with Stockpile Thomas, and they'll still be available to use when upgrading your weapon. The basic upgrades of Demon's Souls divide into two clear paths, Sharpstone and Hardstone. These paths take your weapons to a maximum of plus 10. Both materials come in four different variants, which are shards, large shards, chunks, and pure. As you increase the level of a weapon, you'll be required to combine various types and amounts of Sharpstone and Hardstones to further increase their weapon level. The special upgrade paths of Demon's Souls have unique properties that can change the scaling and effects of your weapon. Special upgrades require stones besides hard stones and sharp stones, and can only be applied and upgraded by Blacksmith Ed. Special weapons use shards, chunks, and pure stones and can be upgraded to a maximum of plus 5, and your base weapon may need to have some basic upgrades before it can be transformed into a special upgrade. Now let's talk about the various upgrade paths in Demon's Souls. I won't go through the list of compatible weapons for each category as you can find that information on dedicated upgrades pages of the wiki, but this will help to inform you of what each upgrade path does. Blessed Upgrade the Blessed Upgrade Path requires a Faint Stone to bless the weapon. Equipment forged with Faint Stone deals magic damage that scales well with the Faith stat, but lowers strength and dexterity bonuses. It also helps in regenerating health by 2 to 6 HP per second. Blessed Weapons are a good choice for Faith and Miracle builds. Crescent Upgrade This path requires the Dark Moonstone to obtain the Crescent Effect. A Crescent Weapon deals major magic damage and also provides high scaling with the magic stat at the cost and removal of any strength and dexterity bonuses. In addition, Crescent upgrades also provide MP regen to the tune of plus 1 regen every 5 to 3 seconds. Crescent weapons are a good choice for magic builds. Crushing Upgrade The Crushing upgrades use Grey Stones and will increase the strength scaling of a weapon at the cost of removing any dexterity bonus. Crushing weapons are preferred choice for strength builds, but will usually focus on larger weapons. Dark Upgrade Dark upgrades are only applied to shields and use Cloud Stone. Dark upgrades will increase the shield's magic reduction by 3 to 70%, but will reduce the shield's guard break reduction to default. Dark shields are useful in areas with powerful magic such as the Tower of Latria. Dragon Upgrade This upgrade path requires a Dragon Stone and will add fire damage to your weapon at the expense of any stat bonuses. Dragon upgrades can be useful for hybrid builds that do not have strong investment into a scaling stat, or for any areas where enemies are particularly weak to fire damage. Fatal Upgrade. The Fatal Upgrade path requires Marrow Stone and can only be used on piercing weapons such as the Dagger, Estoc, and Rapier. The Fatal Upgrade adds Dexterity Scaling and Critical Damage to the weapon but reduces its basic attack power and strength scaling. Fatal Upgrades are good for Dexterity-based characters and roguelike characters and are often used in PvP. Mercury Upgrade. Mercury Upgrades use Mercury Stones and adds Dexterity Scaling and Poison Auxiliary Damage at the cost of reduced strength scaling. Mercury Weapons are favored by Dexterity-based and Rogue-type characters, and are also a good choice for PvP. Moon Upgrade Moon Upgrades use Moonlight Stones to add magic damage as well as magic scaling at the cost of reduced strength and dexterity scaling and reduced physical damage. Moon Upgrades are therefore a more hybrid-friendly version of Crescent Upgrades and used by builds that want to keep the physical scaling stats. Quality Upgrade Quality Upgrades use Clear Stone to balance out strength and dexterity scaling of a weapon. So if a short sword is normally D&E and, e and strength and dexterity, a quality short sword will be D and both. Quality upgrades are used by builds that spread their stats rather than focus on one. Sharp Upgrade The Sharp Upgrade path uses Bladestone to heavily boost the dexterity scaling of a weapon at the cost of reduced base damage and lowering any strength bonuses. Sharp Upgrades are favored by those heavily invested in dexterity and builds that want to have fun with a spiked shield. Sticky Upgrade This upgrade path is exclusive to bows and requires the Spider Stone. Sticky Upgrades improve the range of your bow and greatly boost the bow's dexterity scaling at the cost of reduced strength scaling and base damage. Sticky Upgrades are favored by Dexterity builds and incredibly useful in sniping enemies from a safe distance. Tearing Upgrade The Tearing Upgrade path requires the Sucker Stone material. Tearing Upgrades greatly boost the Dexterity scaling of the weapon and add heavy auxiliary bleed damage while reducing strength scaling and base damage of the weapon. Tearing Upgrades are a more extreme version of Sharp Upgrades as they add more bleed and take away more from the base physical damage. They are used by Dexterity builds and often seen in PvP. 
If you thought that the complexity of the many paths that I just mentioned was enough to get your head spinning, you better sit down. In addition to the basic and special upgrade paths, Demon's Souls features unique weapons that can only be crafted by upgrading a regular weapon in a specific path and then infusing it with a particular boss soul. How do you unlock boss soul weapons? You'll be able to unlock boss soul weapons after you defeat the boss of Stonefang Tunnel's Tunnel City, Flame Lurker. This boss drops a soul called Searing Demon Soul and that you must bring to Blacksmith Ed's shop at the Smithing Grounds. How do you create a boss weapon? Boss weapons are created at specific points of the upgrade path of specific weapons. Let's say you want to obtain the Meat Cleaver boss weapon, for example. You need to collect the needed boss soul, Swollen Demon Soul from Adjudicator, and a plus zero club, a plus six war pick, a plus six mace, a plus six meridian hammer, etc. Bring these and some regular currency souls to Blacksmith Ed, and you'll be able to craft a Meat Cleaver. Note that you'll only need one of those weapons at its upgrade mentioned, but those are a list of ones that you could use to make this weapon. There are many boss soul weapons that can be created and they have unique effects and stats, so finding them all and experimenting can be a lot of fun. Do keep in mind, however, that you only get one boss soul per cycle, so if you want to get spells and miracles, you'll have to make a choice and wait for New Game Plus and Beyond to get something else. We have a full list of all boss weapons on the wiki, so check it out and compare it to the list of boss souls that shows you which of them has multiple uses. Lastly, a note on undoing upgrades. Unlike the later Dark Souls titles, Demon Souls does not allow you to change paths midway or apply a gem to alter your weapon's qualifier. The only thing you can do is use a Meltstone to reset any weapon to its default state. However, be mindful that this will not return your ores and souls, so it's better to plan ahead and consider what you want to build before investing your resources. Final Tips The upgrade system of Demon Souls is complex, but it is incredibly fun. One of the most important things you should look for is ways to farm ore so you can try them all out. There are many stones to be found as treasures in many areas of the game, and we have details on all treasure locations for all stones on the wiki, as well as detailed maps that show where crystal lizards spawn and what they drop. Remember that crystal lizards will respawn after you defeat a boss, so you can kill the same ones multiple times. You should make sure to loot everything you can and hunt down every lizard, then move on to purchasing stones or farming specific enemies as needed. If you're struggling with your upgrades, check out our build guides for ideas on how to optimize your stats and equipment for many different play styles. And if you have questions, you can always come by our Discord or join our Demon Souls live streams on Twitch. And that's it for our Demon Souls upgrades guide. Do you have any tips to add? What is your favorite upgrade path or boss weapon? Let us know in the comments below.